Mission is supported by the Star Ghana Foundation with thanks to Danida, UK Aid and the EU. Now two classrooms of the Amukwesen Basic School in the Takwa and Swaye municipality of the Western Region have been shit bombed and Stanley Niblewu reports school authorities abandoned the classrooms after um, the incident was recorded two days ago and viewers are warned that pictures coming up could be disturbing. Pupils and teachers of the Amokwe Sin Basis School were thrown into a state of untidiness after some recalcitrant locals broke padlocks of classes 3 and 5 to spread human excreta. The blackboard and furniture were not spared. Pupils used instructional hours to put the classrooms in order. Be careful! Although affected classrooms have been cleaned, school authorities are yet to begin teaching in them because of health concerns. Teachers say the shade bombing was done without any form of provocation. This is not the first time classrooms in the Takan Swaya municipality have been sprayed with fecal matter by the first at the Amukwesin school. The area circuit supervisor was not pleased. The shit bomb, toilet being sprayed, in the classrooms by people, unscrupulous people in the community is serving a tool on some of the schools in Takwa circuits, most especially Amukwesin and uh, Takwa uh, Catholic uh, schools. In fact, it's having a damn consequence on the teaching and learning in the school. If the municipal assembly and for that matter, GES can actually uh, support, give the mandate to PTA to be able to charge some fee so that they can employ security personnel to man the schools. So that these people who come to the school to defecate and spread the toilets on the school compound, on the chalkboard, on the table and in the classrooms. I think this, these people can be arrested and prosecuted. Head teacher of the school who raised other concerns to the mission team, some wee smokers who hang out in the bush close to the school always have access to the school premises because there's no fence. People use the school as a thoroughfare. Uh, people pass through the school to their various houses and it is disturbing teaching and learning in the school. The municipal education director, Alex Kukudia, said he's yet to be officially informed about the incident but promised to take action. That school has got locks, they've got uh, windows where they can close them after school. So if doors have been locked, windows have been closed and people forge their way into the classroom uh, purposely to go and do this bad act. Then it means uh, they deliberately, they have a bad motive for doing that. You have to see the head teacher, if possible, will meet stakeholders and find out. And those who will be caught will be made to face the full rigors of the law. The Amukwesin Basis School is situated in the heart of the Takwa community and the lack of fence provides a thoroughfare for all. The school being one of the oldest learning institutions with increased population has other challenges. Early this year, while school was on vacation, people believed to be miscreants set the cupboard containing books in class 3 on fire, destroying everything. Toilet facilities have outlived their usefulness, while portions of the school building have developed severe defect. For the toilet facilities, you'll be teaching and the children will be asking for permission to go to ease themselves. And you know, you can't stop them to go out to ease themselves. They go and some of them never came back. Safeguarding property and lives of pupils and teachers of the Amukwe Singh MA primary schools would require stakeholder commitment and resources. 43 persons living with disability in the Pungkatamansu municipality of the Greater Accra region have been aided financially to support their livelihood through the 3% District Assembly Common Fund and the beneficiaries lauded government for this initiative.
The District Assembly Common Fund was set up to minimize poverty among all persons living with disability, particularly those outside the formal sector of employment. Out of the 43 beneficiaries in the Tungkatamansu municipality, 36 were assisted financially with their educational needs. The amount totaled 42,230 cities. Seven persons were also assisted with about 16,000 cities to cater for their medical care. The government makes sure that they release money quarterly. At least when the common fund is coming, the disability money is also ready for us to, ins to ensure that they have been taken care of their school fees, their needs and everything. So even to the extent that those who even wants to have shops, provisions bought for them, whatever thing they know they can do to help themselves and to finance their award school fees and whatever government has been putting things in place. Three months ago, went around to register persons with disability mass registration. So now the, um, the number of persons with disability has gone up to 625. We are hoping to get about 1,000 people by the end of the year. We have something remaining in the accounts, so we've processed their documents, waiting for it to be approved of so that we pay them. So it will be before December this year. The beneficiaries lauded government for utilizing the 3% District Assembly Common Fund to support their needs. It's my child. She's at Mampon Death School. It has been helping her a lot. I got 500 Ghana, but they said still they are sending some to the school for the other things to be used. I'm grateful because the District Assembly Common Fund has enabled persons with disability to access education. This is not a partisan matter. It's not about NDC or about MPP. It's about Ghanaians. So we are praying that as this assembly has done, the assemblies of the nation, they should present to the people because the government is thinking about the disabled. Um, I got my upkeep for today and I'm planning to start a business with it and um, i like to say thank to the district assembly. My school fees will be paid. It's in the process. So if not like the hope we got from here, I would not know how I could have write my WASI because finances it was very difficult. And as that's for Mission, Mission is supported by the Star Ghana Foundation with thanks to Danida, UK Aid and the EU. Isa will continue with the rest of our stories.